Here's a quick tip on how you should print out your wedding speech before you deliver it on the day, right? So by the way, you don't have to memorize it. You can take a look. I've got another video on why you don't have to memorize your speech. So your father, the bride, best man, maid of honor, your mom, your someone, this is what you're gonna do. So you want to make your speech as readable as possible. Because even though you're not gonna read it, you know, with your head down the whole time, you wanna be able to refer back to it. And if you watch that video I have on why you don't have to memorize your speech, what I tell you is you, you gotta read it out loud a bunch of times. You're gonna have it, you know, 50, 60% memorized. It's mostly here. You just got a safety net. So when you're printing it out, use a big font, okay? Use a big font. When I say a big font, and the font is literally, it's the actual size of the letters on the page. So use one that's 16 point, 18 point. Uh, when you're just usually typing stuff, it's usually about 12. So that's fine if you're just looking at something on your screen or you're, you know, you're, you're printing it out to turn in somewhere. But when you're reading it, when you're doing using it for public speaking and you want to be able to look around and make eye contact with people and then go back to your speech, you want to use a big font. Also, you want to make sure that you separate every thought so that you've got a lot of white space on your page because the goal is you want to be able to talk, you know, say, say a couple of lines, look down, refer back to it, look up again. You want to be able to find your place just like that. So what do I mean? This is a speech that's printed with a lot of white space. And you can see there's some things are only just one line, right? What you don't want is this, okay? So this is printed kind of a small font. This is a font that would probably be fine if you're just printing it out to, to look at uh, or to read if you're going somewhere. But this, if you're doing public speaking, this is going to take you down. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get up there. You're going to go, hey, yeah, oh, oh gosh, oh, Dave and Sam, oh, love them, love them. They're amazing. And you're going to kind of riff and you're going to feel nice and loose. And then you're going to look down to start your speech. Really, once you've kind of, you know, maybe you freestyled the intro a little bit and you're going to be a couple couple lines in, you're going to look down to remember exactly how you worded those lines because you took all that time to really craft something that you cared about. And your brain is just going to look at this and go, Duh! <laughs> where am I? Oh gosh, where's my place? Where's my place? Where's my place? Where is it? Where is it? And those couple of seconds, even though they're just a couple of seconds, they are going to feel like an eternity to you. And all that momentum and all that confidence that you just built in those first couple seconds, it's just going to be gone. And what your brain's going to start to do is whoop, 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 we're going down, we're going down. And it's just, it's unnecessary. So very simple. When you print out your speech, nice big font, lots of white space, set yourself up for success, make it easy to instantly find your place. You know, look, hey, these are the same, this is the same speech, right? This one, well, this one, it's all on one page. Come on, spring for that second page. It's okay, all right? You're, you're pulling down the kind of money where you can afford a second sheet of paper. So that's, that's my best tip. Also, oh, one more tip, use a staple. Use a staple. Also number your pages because you may have three, four pages. Okay, and if you end up having three or four pages, that's fine. But maybe, you know, you, you put your paper down and, and by mistake, you know, you gesture, you make a big gesture, you knock your pages off. And now you've got four pages and now you're scrambling to pick up four different pieces of paper and to put them all in the right order. And it just takes time, time you don't want, time that's gonna take away from the momentum of your speech. So, you know, spring for the second piece of paper, staple, that's it or at the very least numbers. So that if your pages go down, you know, if you don't wanna be folding it over and you wanna be able to sort of take one and go around to the other as a, as a personal preference, put, put a number on it, that's it, very simple. And those are small things that you can do that are gonna make your speech and your presentation so much better.